We are in the top left of this bracket, but be sure not to miss the final two attacks as those decide this war. Swag and three spells right there. You gotta take out the Archer Tower! In this tournament, each team has four attacks to hit three bases, so players can take a huge risks in their attacks. And this could be a one star, but they could fix this attack. In the previous video, we saw Klaus participate and come in with an insane Lalo hit. But Amalong will be the first player starting us off today with a Zap Skelly Donut Lalo attack. And he's got himself 30 loons with the Zap Lalo. Taking out the invisibility. Taking out the single target inferno. But the monolith stays in the core. Oh, he's doing a Zap Lalo Skelly Donut. But he made the monolith invisible to start. But these skellies need to continue to go for it. The last... Oh, no! No! He makes the glad castle invisible! Well. Rip. If that CC and monolith went down. Now he's got no spells. That is going to be absolutely devastating here because this king is going to pull out the clan castle the queen is getting hit by the air expo now a bunch of archers are coming out and a bunch of rocket loons as well which are going to absolutely crush through this king raw champion is going in king comes back alive with that phoenix queen needs to secure the town hall with ability she should be able to do that oh my RC is not working onto some of these rocket looms, but hey, he did clear the CC here. But the monolith is still standing. And the Lalo's coming in, but no spells. A Lalo it spellless Lalo, essentially. Moving over to this multi. But Kingsman could try to replicate this attack. But good luck. That is a hard attack to replicate. Remember, you do have one extra attack here in the this Coco Invitational. There's four attacks. But only three bases to hit here. Stone Slammer's moving in. Does secure that two-star, but the Monolith doing a massive amount of damage. Defending RC on the top side. Had an Inferno Dragon. Dragon Balloons in that Stone Slammer. And he's going to fall short here. And she's dead. Rip. Abu Allen with the 63. Nice try. Damus is now leading it off. And he's coming in with a Queen Charge Lalo. With some Yetis. Flame Flinger to the far left. Gonna help take this area down. Needs to keep that Mortar distracted as the Queen is going in towards this air defense. Down goes the Cannon. And the Queen's gonna slowly move her way up. Drops a couple Balloons. No healers just yet. Healers are finally now down, deployed. Four super wall breakers. Expos are going to lock onto this queen. The archer tower does stay up. He wall breaks his way in. He wants this flame flinger to get this multi-target inferno or something. He does find a tornado trap early, which is nice. Pulls. Oh my goodness. That one balloon pulls three sinking air mines. What a clutch loon. Poisons the electro titan. Wow, that tornado trap actually pulled the loon and pulled the traps. Oh my. As he's continuing this charge, now that he took all that valley down, he can continue this queen to get all the valley and keeping these healers protected. Look at that. Pulls a couple right at... Dude, Stamus is getting some incredible Coco loon valley. No way this wall breaker is going all the way in here. There's no shot. Oh my goodness, he's got no more left. That royal champ, he just timed it wrong. So he's not opened up into the middle. Look at this. As he drops some balloons onto this arch tower. Flame Flinger. Where's this queen going to go? Trying to deal with the single bow. There is an invisibility spell that's going to get activated. The Phoenix pulls some of the red air bombs. Some more red air bombs. Queen. There is some more traps. There is the invis on the queen. She's going for the single. She's going for the wall now. Oh my. What the heck is with this poison spell? Jeez. It's glitched. What the? Look at that thing. It doesn't know what it wants it to do. The Raw Champion's coming over. There's the freeze on the poison just before it gets tossed. Look at this queen. The charge is going through. The Raw Champion stuns the Town Hall. Gets tossed to the RC. Rocket Loons, a Dragon Rider, comes out of the Flame Flinger. Ward ability goes off. The queen is still up with the healers. And this is looking good. Look at these balloons now passing through that Town Hall. Going to the backside. And wow. 
Stamus having some of the most unbelievable Coco Loon value, getting the Seeking Air Mines, getting the traps, getting all of it, and crushing this one. Well done to Stamus to take the lead. So now they don't have to worry about cleaning this one up. Starting off with a triple is so big, especially if you can then use a different attack to clean up someone else. Very nice job to Stamus tripling Amuala in space with that epic queen charge. Well, Kingsman is in and this needs to triple so they can focus on a different base. Not have to focus on this one. As we've got queen charge Electro Titans with that warden off to the far right side using a few sneakies. Healers are down on this warden. All right, Flame Flinger is going to go in. We do have the Poison Lizard. Five Lightning Spells, which he could remove in an Inferno Tower. He could, re yep, removes the Inferno Tower and the Invis and the Wizard Tower as well. Okay, so this Warden is going to slowly make its way over to the Town Hall. Sneaky Goblins are working onto the Dark Elixir Storage, so the Flame Flinger could... Well, wait, he's got two left. So the Warden doesn't get locked onto it or anything. Drops a Hog to test for some Teslas down there. So this Warden needs to secure the Ground Expo. It's going down slowly. And then the Flame Flinger should now go for the Town Hall after the fact. Looking good. So that he can then come in with the... Ele no! Oh, okay. The Flame Flinger. I was like, don't let... Wait, where's it going? Go to the Town Hall. Okay, oh, there it is. It's going for the Town Hall now. He does have the Wall Break. He doesn't have any more, so he's going to have to jump his way through this wall here. Or he's, yep, there's the jump. Out come Super Minions. A Rocket Loon. He's getting hit from the mile. There's the Freeze in the core. Moving his way through. No poison because he's got the Electro Titans. They're in the core there, moving through. He could drop a Rage, pop the Warden ability, protect them. Tannel's getting hit from the Flame Flinger. As the King ability goes off, go now into the Defensive King. Drops a Headhunter. Needs to get it in towards this Eagle Artillery. But look, he's getting stuck on this wall here. That's the issue. They're beating through the wall slowly, but he's got to get through all this value. The queen can take the jump. Well, nope. She's going to go through the wall where they ended up breaking. We got a tassel farm to the bottom side down here. He still has the raw champion to send in. Multi finally goes down. Now going to reach and grab the wizard tower. Going to grab this ground expo. Pops the ability. Queen's about to die here. Ground expo goes down. We have one freeze. There's the RC now behind the king, trying to help provide that tanking. The queen is going to die. The electro... Oh, he try Oh, he decides to invest the freeze onto the enemy RC so the queen can take her down. And she does. Was that the right move? Because it looked good. Oh, the Rockaloons getting pulled back. Rockaloons are going down to their defense. Dragon Rider is trying to make its way over. Healer is stuck on some skellies. Oh my gosh, Healer, really? But he's only got 28 seconds. Time is not on his side. Pops the ability, skips across, and he won't be able to get this. The Diggy will help a lot, but the Ground Expo doing work. And this is going to fall short. It's going to be about an 85%. Diggy tries to stun. Tassel Farm down here, but it was the jump spell getting stuck in the core of that base that prevented Kingsman from moving through that middle as it's only an 89%. Halo is up! You get another triple, you're looking really good in this match. And he's bringing the Super Archers in for his hit here. With a bat spell, a recall. Hmm. Gonna take his time up top at 12. Minion off to the left here. Balloon onto the Archer Tower. All right, so he wants this Warden potentially to walk into this Air Expo. We've got a Skelly Donut. Bad spell to try to take out the single target inferno. The clan. Oh no, not again. Not again. Okay. All right. Wait, he's good. He's good. He's good. He's... They're back onto the CC. They're back on the CC. There's another one. Oh my goodness. Okay. 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 All right. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're not good. Halo. Houston, we have a problem. Oh, no. Okay. Well, the king is down on the left side. He's cutting across the space. The problem is, 
he has to somehow deal with this clan castle now as a triple ice golem. Okay, not the worst CC. I'll just slow him up. It could be worse with not taking out that clan castle. So this warden's moving in. The eagle is gone. The king is going to go into the scatter in the enemy royal champion section. He's moving his way through. There's the king ability, but he's going to die everything right to that bomb tower. Can he even make it to grabbing the scatter? Yes, he should be able to. The warden disappeared. He recalled him, it looked like. Okay. There's the warden queen, and, and all the super archers coming to the bottom side. So he wanted the royal champion to go in for the multi-target inferno. I see what the plan was. Because you did your plan was to not have the clan castle there so that the multi would go down to the RC. This e and all that. So the RC got stalled up by that. But now they're going to get stalled by the ice golems. And this could be a one-star, but they could fix this attack. Stamus could come in and try to fix this here if they think it's a really good plan. Poison got launched. He sends a wall wrecker across. Okay, so the wall wrecker's going in here. So he'd remember, a one-star is not the end of the world in this format here because you can try to fix the attack. And now it's all about just scouting and pulling as many potential traps as possible around this base so that Stamus can come in and clean this up. Yep, he's got goblins and goblins and goblins and goblins and more goblins. Wall breakers. Oh my goodness. He has a lot of goblins inside of that wall wrecker. And it's going to be the one star. All right. Got some headhunters running off to the right side. Well, unless the queen somehow secures the town hall. No, she won't be able to grab that. All right. It's a one star, but it's a scout for Stamus. So Stamus will have to hit this and fix it. Let's see what attack he does if he tries to replicate it and just not mess up the skelly donut. Amualin is up. Amualin is coming with the hog riders using some a bat spell right on the outside to help distract the air defense. He finds the tornado trap, finds sticking air mines, and he gets the archer tower. Sends the blimp in and oh my wait the blimp was like stopped. Okay. So that bat spell and balloons was actually OP there. As the, whoa, 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 whoa! Queen ability, oh no. Queen ability's forced. Look at all these archers. The troll CC, where is this queen? Oh my gosh, this queen is walking in here. The CC of archers and archers and archers and archers and archers and archers and <laughs> God, look at all these archers. Yikes. Now sends the king into the defensive king. Uses the Velk uh, headhunter over there. Is there even more archers? Did he put like 50 archers inside that CC? That could have... What? This is continuing his way in. King's ability going off. There's a wall break for this queen to continue her charge. I don't even know if he pulled out. Okay. Yep. Oh, there's three headhunters now coming out. Oh, this is bad. He's going to have to freeze. He needs to take him out. We got the king coming back alive. We got the hogs moving in with the poison lizard. The headhunters are dead. Warden needs a burn ability or something to protect these hogs as the world champion's going in. Headhunters running across, but the queen is gone. Oh no! Rip! Makes the RC invisible. Her ability's already been forced. Send some hogs to the left. Tassels are gonna absolutely wreck through them. RC is dead, and this is a low percent two star if he can clean it up with some wizards. Ay, ay, ay. Oh man. Wow. Well, um, this did not go well here for Amu Allen. 58%. Nice try. Halo has decided to go in. Halo's got his super archers. He tried them before. But can he do this one and get the three star? Pressure's on. You can't fail this one. Because you get a one star, that is going to hurt a lot. As the warden walk is clearing this left side. Grabbing this area. Some Tesla's. That poison lizard went down fast. As we have the mortar going down. Tesla is there. Wizard Tower you can grab. The enemy queen is going to be in range soon. But you don't see super archers being used all the time. It's kind of not the meta at Tunnel 15. Definitely not. Electro Titans definitely are. He's got two of them. He wall breaks, which kind of goes for the corner wall here. As he wants to make his way in. But the Electro Titans look like they may be walking. Will they come back around is the question. Super archers kind of stepping in. Ice Comb freezes the enemy queen. The balloon's pulling some traps. Electro Titans walk. They don't go in the core. So 
So nothing to deal with the core CC. So he's going to have to poison it. We've got troops running all around here. Out come some ice golems. He's got to burn warden ability or something. There's a poison. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait a second. He's getting stalled up. He needs to keep these super archers alive. As he's going right through the core. The monolith locks onto this queen here. I don't even know if he can grab the town all at this point. Oh, no. Valkyries do come out of the siege barracks. I think that was used up at 12 o'clock. Freezes the monolith. He needs to get this town hall. He thought that the super archers could skip through to go grab this whole core here. Defensive rate. Oh, that queen's ability is forced. Is she even going for the town? Oh, no. 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 Another one? So, um... Halo with back-to-back -back one stars. So Stamus can only fix one of these. Oh no. You've got to be kidding me. Is that four stars there? I think that's four stars. Kingsman is in. He's got a triple to have the chance. So he's going with a different attack here. With some sort of Lalo. A queen charge Lalo. With that queen off to the far right side, Balloon's taking out that Archdower. Healers are down. We got the Sneakies trying to help set up a bit of a funnel. He knows where some of these traps are, so he can deal with it. Warden, Log Launcher into this king, and he can pop the king ability and the warden ability to protect everything through here. The Skellies probably try to really protect them. There's the king ability. He can pop the ability now to protect all these barbarians. He's making his way across into the core. Queen's continuing her charge through. Now there's a defensive queen. The wall's going to break so he can take the opening. Headhunter goes into the queen. Double headhunters here. The queen took out the enemy royal champion. There's the wall break. Out comes the archers. Look at the log launcher crushing through them. He's got a poison spell. Not using it yet. The king is pulling the headhunters, but he's killing them off. Queen's continuing the charge. Sneaky goblins to the bottom side. Trying to force the queen over towards this town hall. Will she go there? The funnel down here is very nice. Forcing the queen in more into the space does have a couple more super wall breakers will they break into the sweeper yes they do there's two of them just in case to be safe look at that he opens one then he's gonna open a second one which doesn't really matter rc's ability is gonna go oh no rc's already gone rages up this queen the warden has stolen the healers makes this queen invisible but she's gonna lock onto this town hall is looking good for kingsman what a plan on the fly Look at that. The charge was epic all the way through. Raging on the backside. He's got four more loons. He's going to have to take out these Teslas as he continues his way down. He's got the freezes. He uses them. He rages into this bottom compartment. It's looking good. Drop it, balloons, for the cannon. Just got to drop some cleanup up top. And this is a three with the queen ability. Well done to Kingsman. GG. Now the pressure is coming on to Stamus because Halo... Is making it as hard as possible for his own team to win. Oh my. Swag and three spells right there. Doesn't need them. And it's gonna be a three star for Kingsman. GG. The pressure is now on. And Stavis needs the triple in order to win. Because a one star only puts... Or a two star only puts them to six stars. Which is one star down below. As we... He is not... Coming in with what Halo tried to do. He's deciding to come in with that Queen Charge Lalo. Headhunters into the enemy Raw Champion. King's running around here. Taking out the Bomb Tower. Queen is behind, but she's getting hit by the Scatter Pops King ability. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. That Queen's taking a lot of damage. Okay. That Queen, healers, and Scatter Shots going down. Wall breaks for this Queen. And all right. Continuing his way through, gonna deal with the triple ice golem CC. Try and take out the expo before the queen ability is forced, and he does just that as he takes out that archer tower. Continuing his way in, not using the poison spell just yet onto the ice golems. He has two more super wall breakers. It does go all the way to the core of this base. Look at the super wall breaker go. Oh no, the ice golem froze the super wall breaker. It's trying to go. It does make it. What? No! The ice golem froze it from getting one more tile so he can grab the town. No way. Oh, wait. But now he, oh, he opens it, though. There was one more. Okay. 
Dude, I did not think he was going to get that. Uh-oh, single, 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 single. This queen is charging like crazy. Can Stamus clutch this war here? As the single target Inferno is going down. Ice Golem, Royal Champion to the top side. Healers are getting hit by not only the multi. Oh, makes him invisible, but he still has queen ability. That Phoenix is clutch. What a clutch. Phoenix, the Warden is down with the Royal Champion. Why? Why is the Warden already down with the RC? The Warden's ability is going to be forced. That's a problem. Oh, no, 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 no. Warden ability. That was a mistake. RC's ability goes off. Warden's ability as well. That could cost you. There's a jump for the queen. She's not taking the jump. Oh, no. Her ability goes off. The healers are gone. No warden ability anymore through this enemy queen. The multi does not go down. He is taking out the queen. There's a blimp into the monolith. And the multi should go down with a rage. Oh, it's not yetis. It's rocket loons. They take it down. Does he still have enough? 46 seconds. He's looking pretty good with no warden for the Lalo. Stamus. Can he save it? He needs to free something over here, but the dragon rider dies. The rocket loon. The regular balloons. They're coming over. He needs to free something. He needs this. 30 seconds. You gotta run, balloons. Run. Oh, no. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Don't lose the balloons. Freeze, freeze, freeze. There's the freeze on the wizard tower. The archer tower. Oh, it goes down. They split. They go to the archer tower up top. Is it going to be enough? A sinking air mine st prevents it from going down. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ten seconds. Balloons, you got to go. You got to take out the archer tower. The death damage does it. It helps speed it up. Stamus gets the three star. Oh, my Stamus. Clutching this war. Seven to seven. Winning on percentage. Stamus with the two triples and Halo trying his absolute best not to win. But Stamus advanced them in the Coco invitation.